aquí en Auto 060 y como les estaba mencionando en el segmento anterior, vamos a pasar a otro reporte de wordsauto.com. Ahora vamos a hablar con Drew Winter. So we're switching back to English again to talk about uh, another report from uh, Words Auto. Uh, we're with Drew Winter. How are you, Drew? I'm fine. Great to be here. Thank you very much. So we're going to talk about a very interesting list uh, that wordsauto.com has been putting together for, for a long time, right? Uh, the best interiors yeah. for the, the new car sold in the U.S. So how long have you been doing this study? Oh, it's been, uh, well, our current format we've been doing for about uh, four or five years, but we've been involved in uh, uh, the, the interiors evaluations for about 10 years now. Yeah, and it's a it's a very study because uh, most people uh, focus their the information about horsepower, MPG, MSRP. I mean the whole general thing. But when you go to the specific of cars, I think for obviously where people spend the time is inside. So uh, that's where people should take attention to that. And uh, technology and um, and design has has made all the brands uh, come up with a very very good price at different prices. Yes, you know, and it, it's uh, funny because not that long ago, the interior used to be the place where automakers would always look whenever they had to cut costs to uh, to bring a, a new vehicle in um, on budget. They'd end up uh, cutting costs the last minute on the interior, and uh, uh, it, it was well. They, they, automakers have since learned that's a bad place to, to make your cuts because you know uh, drivers see the interior a lot more uh, spend a lot more time looking at the interior than they do at the exterior uh, in the car every day so it's been the the interior now has become a huge probably the most important aspect of, of selling a vehicle uh, uh, once the once a, a buyer is serious about uh, purchasing a car yeah and and especially now with the new technology Bluetooth, like cell phones, uh, GPSs, all these things, who are what, what are like really, really important, especially when companies like Kia and Hyundai are putting so much stuff in cars that are like under twenty or twenty-five thousand dollars, right? Well, right. Well, you know, we're finding so many people, uh, the connectivity is uh, more important to their vehicle uh, purchase decision than, than how the vehicle drives. Uh, and so it, it's absolutely uh, uh, imperative that, that uh, uh, automakers have the latest technology um, in a vehicle and, uh, to uh, so that everybody can uh, hook into their social networks or, or feel connected uh, um, and, and, and make the car part of their lifestyle and this is an area where uh, the lower priced brands the Kias and the Hyundais and uh, um, some of the other uh, vehicles have really made a lot of progress um, in, in winning over new buyers yeah. because that, that is not real expensive to make a vehicle uh, to put in the most advanced connectivity features yeah so for this report you you and uh, your colleagues tested 46 vehicles completely new or significantly upgraded for this year and uh, the least is uh, in alphabetical order right it's not like a, a number one winner overall or, or is it no, 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 absolutely. It's, it's uh, just a top ten list, and we don't have, we don't go from, uh, you know, first to last or anything like okay. that. Okay, so let's go quickly through the list because time kills us here in the radio. So the Acura sure. RDX, Acura has been always been uh, very, very aggressive in their interiors, very good ones, and uh, with a lot of technology. Yeah, well, uh, they they have been very good on their craftsmanship and fit and finish and and and, and general quality. But what uh, Acura has been doing lately now is they've been putting more uh, design in there and, and uh, attention to colors and and uh, uh, actually giving you sort of some eye candy to look at and 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 uh, that's made a huge difference and and it's helped really um, all the Asian automakers on our list this year is that they've always usually been quite good except now they're putting a little more style and color yeah uh, number not number because uh, again it's an alphabetical order but so the next right. one is a uh, Cadillac and spark so two GM products uh, uh, from both spectrums of their uh, lineup of cars uh, the Cadillac obviously the top and then the spark on the lower end but both have uh, a lot of great things inside Absolutely, you know, with with the uh, Cadillac XTS, you 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 usually think with a Cadillac, it's going to be um, very traditional, uh, you know, wood uh, wood trim and things like that. And instead, the XTS is very very modern um, with a lot of. Uh, 
certainly advanced connectivity features, but also uh, lots of wonderful details like little purple stitching and, and uh, uh, new types of trim, and and what they have ambient lighting that makes it makes it really really a, a beautiful luxurious car. Um, at the opposite end of the spectrum with the Spark, it, it, it's a car that starts about sixteen thousand dollars, but instead of like your just a bargain basement interior, the Spark again has a lot of attention to detail, a lot of uh, design went into the interior to make it uh, fun and, and, and cheerful and uh, again lots of great connectivity features because that's with the younger buyer that's really important. Yeah and I think that's where a GM is experimenting with some, certain things like really having connectivity through the cell phone apps where people don't really need to buy a GPS because they already have it in the phone so they can connect it through the car and, and things like that. Uh, then like uh, Kia, uh, I mean Hyundai Santa Fe, the new one and the Kia Forte go in, in the next uh, order. Uh, great cars too. Yeah, and absolutely. You know, the Santa Fe is, is uh, you know, it's a family, you know, a, a family uh, uh, cross utility vehicle, but it's, uh, it looks beautiful. They have done, again, lots of just really beautiful flowing lines inside, some uh, really attractive trim and, and, and upholstery, and it's, it's very beautiful, but at the same time, it's built to withstand, uh, you know, a family, all the spills and, 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 and uh, dirt and everything uh, that, that will happen in a, in a with a normal family vacation or whatever, so it's really uh, it, it's really beautiful, but but built to take uh, the abuse of a family. And with the Kia Forte, here's a, again a relatively low priced car. Our, our uh, test vehicle was about twenty five thousand, but uh, you know Kia used to be be awful. You know, not yeah, that long inside ago. Inside and out. <laughs> yeah, and and now here again, this is the new Forte interior. Yeah, yeah again, beautiful so, car. Really attractive, great trim, and and uh, just they've done a tremendous job uh, uh, with with uh, with a, an affordable car. Yeah. Then uh, there's a Lexus, and uh, again, and the alphabetical order, the last one is a Toyota, but like. Both uh, both uh, brands from the Toyota group have improved a lot. I mean, especially the Toyota one with the Avalon. It's is really really nice. Oh, again, amazing! You know, Toyota's always had pretty nice interiors, but they've been been boring. Exactly. And now with like the Avalon, it's holy cow! Uh, they've got some great new uh, uh, colors and textures, and the uh, whole design now has is a very is very open. Uh, and there are again lots of technology features in there, but it's not intimidating. Everything is done in, in a, an intuitive way. Whether you're you know accessing Pandora or or just uh, uh, using the big knobs to change radio stations. I mean, it really uh, can appeal to a wide spectrum of generations. Yeah, it's and, and it almost almost looks like the, the Lexus. I mean, they're like getting so close and, and it being so nice that it's almost like it's a luxury car almost. It really is. It, 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 it's hard to tell where you know where the sort of the near luxury uh, ends and the, the real luxury of Alexis begins because uh, tremendous job on the the Avalon and then of course on the Lexus GS. There they have some very beautiful um, bamboo wood trim, which is a light color, and yeah. they did some new yeah. things. I like yeah, that one. All this all this fun and color. It's uh, it's a it's a big change for uh, for Toyota. Yeah. Drew uh, Winter from uh, WordsAuto.com talking about about the test van interiors uh, for 2013, and we only have like two more minutes, believe it or not. So the Mazda 6, the Nissan Pathfinder, and the Ram uh, 1500 are in the list. But I also want to talk about some other uh, a sidebar that you published with, with your report. There's still something pretty bad thing you can like catch up in, in, in an interior of a car. Can you talk a little bit about what people should look at uh, when they're buying a new car? Yeah, I mean, you definitely take a look at the uh, where the sort of the seams of the car come together up at the top corners uh, in the middle and the back, and, and uh, uh, especially look up at what we call the headliner on the ceiling of the car because uh, there's are sometimes where a lot of uh, errors are, are committed uh, in the factory usually where parts just don't fit together properly, yeah. and uh, they really they really hurt the, the the value and the look of a vehicle. Yeah, and it's amazing. I mean, gosh, nobody can afford to make a bad car anymore so everything every car in the, in the market has to be very competitive but there's still as you say some little things that you have to pay attention to right yeah absolutely okay. well drew, Win drew winter from uh, uh, awards out of com. thank you very much for your time very very interesting talking about these uh, this new list from you great to talk to you thank you very much drew winter
Watch uh, Auto.com Pueden buscar la lista, la estamos colocando en nuestra página de Facebook Facebook.com slash Auto 060 La lista de los 10 mejores interiores del 2013 Acura RDX, Cadillac XDX Chevy Spark, Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, Kia Forte, Lexus GS 450H, Mazda 6, Nissan Pathfinder, la Ram 1500, la Mir Longhorn y el Toyota Avalon completan el top 10 de los mejores interiores de World.com para 13. Muy, muy interesante. Y hablando de grandes interiores, un auto que seguramente estará en esta lista el año próximo, es el auto del que vamos a hablar en el siguiente segmento, el Fiat. 500i, eh, la versión eléctrica del de modelo que ya salió aquí en Estados Unidos, que regresó a Estados Unidos en el 2011. Así que no se vayan, que cuando regresen... Es en la industria de los autos acá en Estados Unidos durante una semana. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota y como les eh, mencioné en facebook.com slash auto 060 vamos a poner todos los links, todos los videos para que puedan revisar toda la información que estamos hablando en este show. Ya regresamos, Auto 060.